Hello, Keith here with Math Funny Games. Today we're playing MBT by GMT Games. We are doing Scenario 3. We are doing all basic advanced optional rules, except for the weapon malfunction rule. We are just beginning to enter. We are going to do the initiative phase now. Initiative phase. Okay. So this will be NATO and okay. NATO wins. Let's write that down. I think that will okay, so NATO won the initiative. So what phase do we go to next? We go to the first air phase. There is none. Next, we go to the combat phase, and we go to the indirect fire stuff. Let's see if does NATO have indirect fire? That's the question. Uh, no. NATO has no indirect fire. Let's see if I have the block file. Yes, I do. So NATO has no indirect fire. Fire. <laughs> Soviets have indirect. So the Soviet indirect fire is right here. Okay. Recon unit. Spotting and my firing unit's going to be right here. Only two of these units join the considered one source. Source now, if you have forward observers, forward observers can actually call in. A lot better and they can call in from more sources they might be able to use all three of these sources but and actually my tanks i think a lot of my uh, more of the russian units can do indirect fire okay now the question i have are these attacks separate or are they together so i'm going to take a break and check it out okay so they are going to be considered two Distinct sources for the purposes of effect and calling it in. Okay, so the first thing we do is check for response. So we check for response. I believe that is table A. Yep. Okay, so we go to chart A and we'll go to Oops. Called indirect fire response. All right. We have a recon unit column, so we'll use a recon unit row. And it's calling attached. So base is six. All right. So observer gray hinders press recon. Is it an augmented recon company? No. Okay. So I need six or okay. no die roll modifiers. So Need six or greater to get response. Check for each each firing unit separately. All right, first, no response and response. Good. 
update check for ability at unit. There's the TOS one. We're looking for high explosive H smoke. I believe there is no modifier. Because it's not H, it's not smoke, it's not illumination. So alright, no modifier. Availability check needed. Vehicle, right? Because that's its native fire. So, what's the range going to be? So, let's take a look now. So, now we have no two hit dice roll. Hit die roll. Fire. All right, so we're looking over here. We're looking for GPIF. Uh, it says the minimum range is five because it's a mortar. All right, so is the range five? Okay. Oops. Just five. So it is just at the distance needed. Okay, so the fire is going to be at point blank range and it's going to be firepower 5. So the GPO so the GP offense rating is going to be 5 and the GPD rating of that unit leg section and medium cover it's going to be six six all right i'll check for die roll modifiers actually it should be big drm but Okay, now we check for the dice roll modifiers. I'm looking at target vehicle, target P type, A type, target vehicle, blah, 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 blah. leg crawling, leg toe, short haul, no, 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 shooter damage, hesitant, suppress, broken, on fire, smoke, thermal, barrage, indirect fire, open shape, no, it's a closed shape, overwatch, ammo limit, heat haze, transported, overrun pinning, uh, I could have done a for I have those tanks to an overrun, but eh. uh, hasty entrenchment coaxial air burst. It is an air burst because you're in woods, and I believe that's it. Okay, and their season. So the only the only die roll modifier is plus 10 for air burst. Okay. Okay, die roll modifier is plus ten. Oops. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we go five, we have five and six. So the numbers we're looking for over here. Are going to five, five and six, so fifty seven and eighty six, fifty seven plus oops, oops, press eighty seven or plus the limit. All right, with a Okay, don't forget, we have a plus 10 die roll modifier. And 17 is not back. All right, so that unit stays there. So now this unit did its overwatch. 
elite and this unit did they did their fire phase even though one of them only one of them fired remove that okay now we end and direct fire step on that phase excellent okay so what we do next we go over here and we go to chart B and now we've got the direct fire combat step alrighty so NATO goes first as the initiative phase okay so I gotta see what NATO units I want to activate I'm probably gonna activate this unit right here and I'm gonna fire it Let's see what I got for a target over here all right that's blocked. I'm going to fire at that one. All right. So it's going to be a toe. Toe two at point range. All right. What kind of modifiers we got? I don't think we actually have any modifiers. Yeah, we don't have any modifiers actually. I can take a look, but I don't think we do. Let's take a look. Target size, moving, target, 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 short haul, nope, shooters, shooter, suppress, shooter, grew up, smoke, thermal imaging, fire, edge, overwatch, ammo hitters, defensive fire, no, dual fire, engineering, fire, no, shoot grand website. Okay, we don't have, all right, no modifiers. So our two hit is 90 or less. Uh, and I don't think I need to check ammo availability. Okay. Shot, oops. Shot will use one round. And we currently have nothing left. And the place I recorded that, I went to the right. And you go to show data, toe two, 11 left. So I have to adjust that. Okay. Okay. So I adjusted firing units data to be select using another tow missile. Okay. So we know fire, did we hit? Did we fire? No, we didn't fire yet. Okay. So here we go, and it's a miss. All right, <laughs> man, my shooting with the toes have been horrible. But anyways, okay, so that's eliminated. Now this is important. I'm gonna mark that target with an under fire marker because that target right there, its main weapon is a toe, even though it's a tank, its main weapon is a toe, so I have to mark it under fire. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Let's see if I can do it over here. I don't think. Okay, I don't have an under fire, so I'm gonna have to go over here. Do, 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 do. Under fire, under fire. I think it's on unit markers. There you go, under fire. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I did, 
I placed ugh, okay one moment under fire target because the target uses ATGM missiles. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so now we, next we have another initiative phase. NATO rolls 84. NATO NATO wins and fires. Uh, do, 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 do. Could use my other tow. I'm going to use my tow missile right here. Hopefully, hopefully I get some luck with my toes. I've been having horrible luck with these things. All right. Da, da, da. No, can't do that one. I can do that one, though. And I want to do that one. All right. Okay. Fire. Oops. Okay. Missile. I have to go to its show data and mark it that I used it. Okay. Two. And mark. So each one of these. Mark unit as using another missile it starts with twelve fired this turn and the last missile hit. Yes. And left. Okay, that's good. So again, it's going to be point, point, point range. No, no. It's to hit. Need 90 or less to hit. There we go. Okay, I got to roll it. And it hits. Good. All right. So no penetration modifier. All right. So I got to see what angle it hits at. I believe it's hitting at a front side. Okay. So that'd be the front. So yes. Yeah, so it's hitting at the front side. So I need the front side. Now I need to do a location damage roll. Okay. Location four, damage nine. Location four, front side. All right, so I go to its turret side hit. Side hit. So the turret side armor is what? Turret side or front side hit? Boom. Front side, turret side. Level shot, turret side armor is 47. Okay. So that's a good shot. That should penetrate. And that, I think that's going to cause a brew up. It's 47 foot CE times 2 gives us 694. Check for 
active L E R A explosive reactive armor eight seven one two B let's check it out nine okay so L light explosive reactive armor not effective. Armor is four. Penetration on that sucker is way more than times four. Penetration is that's Brad. Penetration is 180, and the damage is going to be no. so it's a blew up. Eighty. So this brew up. Good job. Okay. So obviously that gives smoke hex too. Bad for the other side. However, not horrible because that gives some cover. It's a smoke in the hex because of the brew up. to the deleted units pile here I got to delete that all right excellent so we're running out of units that wasn't good for the Soviets so the initiative phase is 65 and so it's 78 data lines because of plus 20 die roll modifier all right in other words they have better training the uh 11th acr has better training okay so who fires next for the american Right, so these two units over here both did their fire phase. And I probably am going to call for a spotting check. All right. I want to call for a spotting check. I want to see, see if I want to do for a spotting check. I just want to run some markers right here. Run some lines of sight. That's all I'm doing. Oh, so that's clear. That's clear. So those two are clear. So we have one, two, three, four units spotting. Right. We have four units spotting. Well, I'm not going to worry right now. I have the fire phase anyways. Uh... So let's do something else. I'll get back to that in a minute. All right, there we go. See, I don't like these shots. They're all head-on. And head-on shots really, really aren't that great. All right, right here. So I'm just going to fire at the top vehicle. Firing a top vehicle just because it's on top. Alright. Uh, right. So that's 13. So let's look at that. That's going to be medium range. Medium range. And it's going to be APF SDS. APF SDS medium range. Yep, 
Okay. So let's do it. A P F S D S medium range. All right. Uh, modifiers. Modifiers. Search site. It's two. A P oh range it's two what are the modifiers we have let's find out what modifiers we have uh I don't think there are any other modifiers I think those are the only two Let's go up. Shoot grain weapon site. Already taken. Defensive dual fire. No defensive fire moments. Overwatch barrage. Thermal imager. Smoke. Grew up smoke. Shooter broken suppress. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So what we need to hit will be we need a 70 or less to hit. Let's roll hits. All right. Uh, so now we do racial modifier roll. We got one and ooh, that's not good. Ouch, ouch, ouch. One and two. All right. Okay. One and a two. So its base is 86. Base penetration is 86. That's going to be minus nine, hey. and minus six, but negative fourteen. X negative. All right. So penetration uh, is seventy. Ouch. 72 okay now we do the location damage rule we got six and an eight Action. six damage eight front target facing what type of hit is it let's see it's going to be a hull front hit I think that's going to bounce off. Expect the armor. See, it's awfully hard to get a hit on the front. Yeah. A hull front. Oh, wow. Hull front is 85. <laughs> Barely penetrates, but it does. Hull front hits. So, hull front armor. is 85 oh no it didn't penetrate yeah penetration is 72 so shot bounces off this just got lucky i mean that one and that two on that penetration modifier just got lucky you got lucky dude all right so let's remove that fire marker And delete okay so that's going to be it okay Oops. with fire phase next all right well that's it thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you next time we will continue the fire phase bye bye